I feel like there's a there's a lot of men that um as we get into the holiday season, right? Cuffing season, if you may, mm. are either going to be in relationships that they're staying in that because they don't feel comfortable being alone, mm -hmm. or they're out of relationships because they know the relationship wasn't good for them because they're probably dealing with some of the things that we talked about earlier, mm -hmm. and they're dealing with that depression in one way or another, mm -hmm. right? I'm depressed because I'm in a relationship where she does not value me and she doesn't make space. She doesn't allow me to have that space, mm -hmm. right? Or I'm depressed because I just got out of a relationship and now I'm single and I'm in cuffing season. And I'm trying to figure out how to navigate that. Mm. So what would you say to these two men on how to how to deal with those things? Celebrate the holidays with your homies. Mm. Straight up. Mm. Right? Throw a friends giving, throw a friends Christmas party. Celebrate it with your celebrate it with your tribe. Mm. Right? Because a relationship only goes so far if that relationship allows you to be who you truly are. Right. Right? Right. So it's almost, if you are staying somewhere simply because you are afraid of being alone, or if you are staying somewhere simply because you believe that that's better than being alone, you have not taken the time to get to know yourself. Mm -hmm. And I don't say I don't say that in the cliche way. I say that in the way of you are attempting to hide the parts of yourself that you do not want to accept in somebody else. Right? Mm -hmm. They are serving as a distraction to the growth that you need to be doing within yourself. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. You are running from you and into somebody else. That's the reason why y'all keep button heads. That's the reason why y'all keep having these arguments because you are attempting to manage them and manage their stuff instead of managing your own. Spend some time with yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Not in the space of isolation. When I say yourself, I don't mean it in the individualistic way. I mean in the expansive relational way. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Your family, your friends, the people who remind you of you. Mm, okay. You feel what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. Mm. Ooh, I like that. Because I always tell men like, it's important to do the self-reflection. And I, I personally found it helpful to do the isolation when I was self-reflecting, but I also understand what you mean about like the family and the friends. I think the problem is there's a lot of men that don't feel like they have even family or friends that they can find to, to do that, you do that with. So how would how would those men navigate this? So that's where it becomes very difficult mm -hmm. because I would go as far as to say, why do you feel like you don't have family and friends to do these things with? Mm -hmm. Is it because they've actively harmed you? If that's the case, don't return. Right. But do you feel that you cannot engage in vulnerability. If that's the case, utilize this time to practice vulnerability. Mm, mm. I need support. Mm -hmm. I feel alone. Can I come kick it with y'all? I just need to be around people who make me feel whole. Mm. You would be surprised how people respond. Right. So you're saying basically these men need to create the space. Yes. I like that. Because oftentimes I see, I see the complete opposite. It's like, they haven't created a space for me, so therefore there is no space. Mm -hmm. And we put the onus on the people around us instead of doing the work to actually create the space for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very, very important, bro. Like that's why we have the model on the platform leading with vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Because I don't wait for people to create the space for me to be vulnerable. I go into spaces and I create it myself. Mm -hmm. Then I make it uncomfortable for the people that don't feel comfortable creating space. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, if you don't like when people create space, uh, that's not my problem, that's your problem. I got four questions mm -hmm. that I, I was I was meditating on, and I was like, "Yo, it's a way it's a way for me to break this down, and I can break it down extremely simply." Mm -hmm. Where are they? There are four questions related to relationships that I was like, "Yo, four relationship questions," and this can go for either platonic or romantic. Right. Number one: Can you initiate? 
Mm-hmm. Number two, can you regulate? Number three, can you reciprocate? Number four, can you relate? I.e., can you empathize? Mm. Utilizing those four pillars in any space, really, gives you a framework by which you can begin to create those spaces. Mm. But you have to engage in self-reflection and ask yourself those four questions. Are you able to do these things? And the first question is, can you initiate? Mm. Mm -hmm. Can Mm. you actually go and do? Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. And the reason for that is, is because a number of people will say these things. Oh, I can, I can, I can, I show me. Right. Show me. If there is no space, create one. Right. Because according to y'all, we the folks who built the whole world, but right. you can't build a space of vulnerability. We the leaders, you can't lead yourself into a space of emotional healing. We the protectors and the providers, you can't provide yourself and other people with an emotional space and protect it. Utilizing boundaries and emotional regulation tools. My brother, you got to show me. You got to show yourself. 